Hi, this is Joy Paris with richgirlnetwork.tv and I'm at the LA Tribal Art Association. This is Joy with BridgeGirlNetwork.tv, and I'm here with the co-founder of the L.A. Tribal Art. L.A. Tribal Group. Uh, L.A. Tribal Group, and this is Mark Johnson. So, Mark, tell us a little bit about why you started this wonderful organization, and then about your collection in detail a little bit. Sure. Uh, about 10 years ago this year, actually, a small group of us decided to... Uh, get together to form an association, it was very loose initially, uh, to work together to try experimenting in different kinds of ways to reach out to a new audience. Uh, we sell to a lot of tribal art collectors and museums and dealers that are already in this world, but we wanted to ex find a way to expand out of that sort of niche and get to contemporary art collectors or new collectors. So. It's hard to do that on your own, and it's hard to, the costs are pretty expensive, so we thought we could form this sort of a loose association and share those costs right. and try new ideas, like a pop-up show like this across from the L.A. County Museum of Art, or inside a contemporary art gallery, exactly. or to benefit uh, an organization of mm -hmm. people that we would not, you know, might not know about our organization in another way. So we, we keep experimenting and trying new things all the time, and sometimes we're quite successful and sometimes it doesn't work out so well but but and it's also just a way for us to cooperate we're mostly individual dealers we all know each other we're colleagues okay. but we don't necessarily work together and right. this is sort of a nice way to find a way to work together so you obviously have been an art dealer for a while yourself we're 35 years now how do you get your pieces where do you go do you go all over the world do you have like most of my things come from southeast asia and mm -hmm. indonesia prim primarily but uh the philippines the western pacific southern china india the himalayas as Burma, that's sort of my area of right. operation. Uh, everyone sort of has their own specialty, oh, mostly. I see that. I saw and uh, because the kind of material I have is still found in the field, I can actually still buy it over in Asia. Yeah. Uh, African art really isn't very many a right. antique pieces left in Africa. Right. Antique American Indian art doesn't exist on the Indian reservations. But in Borneo, where a lot of these things come, things. you can still find things. There's still somewhat active cultures. They still, you know, this sort of dance mask over here. Oh. They still wear these kinds of masks today, even though they're, this is an older one and a little bit more interesting than a contemporary one. They still wear them, and they dress up like birds and wear this. This is a, a wild boar, but it's also a morphing of a, of a bird image, too. And so they'll kind of go out in the jungle and dress up in this sort of skirts and, and these masks, and then they kind of come into the village like they're wild animals, and they swing around and dance like birds.